Your exams start this week and you still haven't done any revision. In this video, I'm gonna give you four scientifically proven tips to help you memorize faster. Firstly guys, did you not listen to me in my previous videos? Be chill and accept the present for what it is. Look, you think you've messed up, you've left it quite late. Fine, it is what it is, but you haven't actually messed up. It's all about what you do with your situation now that matters. From your perspective, you've messed up, but what are you going to do to adapt to become better for the next one? You have three maths exams. One of them is bound to not go as well as you hope. Be realistic with life. And this applies to all other subjects too. Learn from the past, don't dwell on it. Accept the present for what it is and prepare for the future. You still have time. What's up guys? My name's Neil, a fully qualified maths teacher, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did at 16 years old where I smashed my A-level maths. Now, I'm the head of maths at my ed space. If you want a free lesson with me, click the WhatsApp link in the description and message me. In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to memorize as many things as possible in the short time that you have left. Now this one is easy, and it's great for all of you students who like to revise last minute. It's called chunking. Chunking is the process where you piece together small bits of information. For example, you learn the basics of adding and subtracting fractions, then you learn how to factorize quadratic, and you throw in some bid mass here and there. Then, voila, you can add, subtract, and simplify algebraic fractions. See, I'm testing my friend. I am half Italian, although my ancestry DNA did say that I'm 17% French. My mum lied to me. <laughs> and with a lot of these small pieces, they form the foundations, so they help you to solve most of the questions you're gonna see in your GCSE exams. Go through your textbook and briefly know where all the topics go. This way, even if your knowledge is a bit patchy, you'll know when to apply it and will be able to make an educated guess as to what you need to do to solve a problem. Chunking is like when you're packing for a trip and you have a bunch of random items to fit into your suitcase. You could try to stuff everything in there, punching those bad boys in like Mike Tyson and that, but that's a recipe for disaster. So you start grouping things together by category. Clothes, toiletries, snacks, protein shake, protein cookies, your broccoli. <laughs> That wasn't part of the script. I was just thinking about broccoli. You have to figure out how to fit everything together in the most efficient way possible or risk leaving something important behind. And just like in Tetris, the more you practice chunking, the better you get at it. So do that with your topics the night before. Trust me, it's gonna help. When you're practicing papers, make sure as you're reading, you identify the topic out loud in your head. By just reading this question, I'm thinking algebraic fractions. Then I'm thinking common denominator, factorizing, cancellation, KFC and that. Which reminds me, I haven't had chicken in about seven minutes. Getting a bit hungry. <laughs> Guys, make sure you're subscribed and you like the video. It helps me out so much. Thank you. Now, this is something that not a lot of students have thought about before. There are three situations. You know what you know. You know what you don't know. And the third one is you don't know what you don't know. For example, you didn't know that the longest recorded flight of a chicken is 13 seconds, did you? But now you know it was flying into my belly. <laughs> so often I see students thinking they know how to solve a problem when doing practice papers, so they just don't try it. I didn't even say that right. So often I see students thinking they know how to solve a problem when doing practice papers, so they just don't try it. This is a critical mistake since in the exam, they come across this topic and have to draw out information from their short term memory to try and remember how to do it, but they just can't. Without repetition, it will never go into your long term memory, especially in maths. It's so easy to think you understand a topic but when it comes to solving the question, you come up short. How do you solve this problem? You write things down. If you think you know something, you should, at the very least, be able to write it down. I always tell my students to not just watch me do maths, write it down, because you build that muscle memory from actively doing something simultaneously. I'm actually mad hungry, you know. I'm dying out here. I'm wasting away, man because you build that muscle memory. Fire. At the very best, you should be able to explain it to other people. Shout out to my man Feynman. You should also be able to self-test regularly or even better, get a friend to test you. Now my third point is gonna sound a little bit strange to you guys, but try talking out loud. Shout out Ed Sheeran for this one. Explain concepts to yourself 
if there's no one around. But don't be on the tube shouting at random people what the cosine rule is. Excuse me, do you know what the cosine rule is? Trust me guys, it really helps to solve a maths problem if you just say the steps you're working through aloud. Don't do that in the exam though, please, because you'll get disqualified. I've spoken to many actors in my time since I used to do performing art and they all practice out loud in front of the mirror. Also pretty similar, but you should also try to sing to yourself. Have you ever been in the exam and suddenly that one song just starts playing in your head? Perhaps the wrong song. And I'm saying, trying to find out why she mad at me, girl, I made this for you. Somehow, you can remember all of the lyric, but you just can't remember the difference between a metamorphic and an ingenious rock. That's because singing has been scientifically proven to increase memory retention. I want you to be talking and singing to yourself all of the time. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is my number one easiest tip to boost marks, and that is eat. Not the company, to actually eat. Eating is my number one easiest tip to boost your grade. Think of it this way, if you eat and sleep more, you'll get more marks. That's just how it works. Thanks to my microwavable rice, I have these biceps and an A star in my maths A level. But anyway guys, take personal responsibility for your own life Work hard, believe in yourself, because I believe in you. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. No, please make, no. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And make sure you check out my other videos that will help you prepare for this exam season. Grade nine, Aquaman out, peace. I haven't had chicken in about seven minutes. Actually, a protein cookie will do for now. One sec, be right back. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm too big to be running like this. Oh. Just mad protein, let's go.